Sometimes the bad things that happen in our lives put us directly on the path to the best things that will ever happen to us. You can't start the next chapter in your life if you keep reading the last one. During the holidays, sometimes relationships don't last. Today's episode is Breakups During the Holidays. When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real-life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m., because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. Don't forget to continue to send those New Year's resolutions. We're going to be continuing on and reading them out loud right as the new year begins. So please take the time, an audio clip, write it to us on our social media. We will read them out loud on the air. Folks, I want to talk to you today about, well, you saw the title. And right now as I'm recording it, I haven't concluded my title. So this may t- this title that I'm going to say right now may not be exactly the same as the one I, um, I post. But this is Relationships on Christmas. Well, there's two different types of relationships. There are those that are new and those that come to an end. Just recently, I had an opportunity to discuss um, a situation with one of my good friends. I'm not going to announce them, but that person lost the relationship literally days before Christmas. And the individual has not had a really good track record during the holidays. Um, It is almost as if the relationship begins throughout the spring and summer and as the fall season approaches and then the holiday seasons um, get closer, the relationships fade out. This has really broken my heart because this individual is a great person with a great heart. And to be fair, the relationships did not end in a nasty way. They all ended almost the same way. It's not you, it's me. You're a a great person, but right now, the way that I am living my life, I don't have time for a relationship. That's a very hard pill to swallow during this time of year. It is very hard to overcome being not in a relationship, especially if you've already purchased a gift for that person you care about. I propose a question to each and every one of you. When you buy a gift for someone and they break up or you break up with them right before the holiday, should you still give them the gift? I say yes. Of course, everything doesn't happen and end the same way. But if it was a mutual breakup, if it was a clean breakup, I believe that if you purchased that gift, because at that moment in time, you wanted that person to have that gift, there's nothing wrong with giving them that gift. Some of you may disagree with me. Some of you may say that person doesn't deserve the gift, or why should I give them a gift if they're no longer wanting to be with me? Well, when you bought the gift, you bought it with the intention of giving it to him or her. You bought that gift because you wanted to put a smile on that person's face. There's nothing wrong with concluding or ending a chapter or closing a book with a great gesture of love and faith. You know, one of the hardest things that we'll deal with in life are breakups. We've dealt many episodes on this, but we've never touched base on breakups during the holidays. They can be hard, they can be strenuous, and they certainly can take its toll on the heart. Well, as I stated earlier this week, family is the most important thing. Family is what keeps you going. And if you have the opportunity to be with friends or or family or immediate family, take the time to do so. Yes, it's going to be hard to be around other loved ones, especially if they're in relationships 
or appear to be happier or happy than you. Remember one thing. Yes, for the time being, the pain will be there. But in the long run, all time heals wounds. And eventually, God will put somebody else in your path. Eventually, life moves on. For those of you that are spending the holidays with the loss of a loved one, know this. I believe that they are always watching down from heaven. Yes, it's a cliche. Yes, it's something you hear about all the time. Oh, you know, I know your grandmother is watching you from heaven. Oh, I know that she'd be smiling down from heaven. You know what? It's the truth. God is everywhere. And so is our families. So is our loved ones. And they see and feel and hear your pain. They don't want to see any of us go through that. So when you're out and about or going out and driving and heading to your next destination, if you're that individual that is feeling that type of pain this morning, this afternoon or this evening, we here at Have Faith Let It Begin want to extend a hug, a word of caution and a word of gesture. And that is, we love you. We support you. We are here for you. And no matter what happens, we believe in you. Spend this holiday season, start the new year right, and do it with a smile on your face. Because no one and nothing can steal your joy anymore. Allow the pain to disappear. Allow the smile to return. Allow the opportunity to present itself so that you can move on and move forward. So that you can find the next part of your chapter in your life. And that chapter will lead to happiness. I wish you nothing but the very best on today's episode as we conclude. And I wish you all a happy and healthy Christmas season. And I hope that God continues to put his his trust and faith, his love, his support in your presence. Have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. You're going to hear episodes me recording live as my daughter in the background, Ariel, will probably cry. You'll hear background noises like phone calls and right on the cue, she's starting to cry. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to continue on like never before. And with Ariel in the background, knowing that in the future you're going to hear yourself crying like this, Mama, yeah, say hi to everybody out there. We just want to encourage each and every one of you to join us every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Join me, Ariel, my family, and everyone as we continue our journey. For Have Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel. Say goodbye, Ariel. Say bye. And bye. <laughs>